It is going to be Void, representing Connor Logic Gaming on the right side of your screen, and fighting against the unsponsored Dubuzz, Da Lips, Da Legend. Da Legend for sure. Rock and Rosalina. Yeah, somebody pick this guy up, man. Get him while you can. Smash 5, best believe he's going to win some huge tournament at the beginning, just like he won the 3DS Nintendo National Open Tournament. And the success does not stop there, Do you know folks. if he won that with Rosalina? He did, yes. Okay. I was actually there. It was cool. I got to play in an exhibition. That's sweet. Yeah, false used uh, the Kong Cyclone and demolished my DDD on that Animal Crossing Tournament's Island stage in front of <laughs> front of Nintendo, in front of the world. I was a little bit broken, but it was an awesome time anyway. So here we go. It's going to be Void and Buzz, two players who have absolutely met in bracket many times, and I don't think that's happened any of the times. Almost the extremely early Smashville platform kill from Sheik's forward smash, one of the least often seen moves in this game. Perfectly hand-delivered by the taxi platform into where DeBuzz thought he would be safe in the disadvantaged state, but not meant to be. And now Void, another character we see play aggro very often, instead going to opt for these just throwing needles at this Luma. Wants to attack on that damage little bit by bit. Maybe she can struggle a bit to kill this Luma, and we see this here actually just kind of closing the gaps. Finally going to get that forward air off to kill the Luma. And Void. then going to get this forward throw. Quite the excellent start, but... As the old adage goes, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And Void has been on the receiving end of some dramatically early finishes to his stocks. Sheik, one of the lightest characters with some of the least raw kill power in the game. So if you're not able to close it out, especially with Rage being present, could see some very disappointing things happen if you're a fan of this guy. Which, who isn't, honestly? Void's great. I love Void. He, he brings a, a very exciting style of gameplay to the table, and you see him even there dropping down with a neutral air, knowing that Rosalina does not have a hitbox on that recovery, very vulnerable to those lingering hitboxes. I feel like these two embody very opposite ends of the Smash 4 spectrum. You've got Void, who's always pushing the technical limits of the game, one of the first few players to have really high-level perfect pivot, tilt confirms, one of the few to mess with shield dropping, uh, whereas the Buzz, I mean... It's 2018, and you still rarely see him go for dash attack cancel grab with Rosa. Uh, but he's still able to... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he heard me. He clearly did. He's, he's got the stream in those Bear Dynamic headphones right now. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll show you, Max. Yeah, I'll I, show you. I was actually uh, mentioning that earlier on stream when he was playing as well. Still something he'll go for, of course. It's such a good option. But you'll see a, a Rosalina player like Fallen, for example, pushing the limits of the character in that regard a little bit more. That said, his fundamentals have still carried him to so many national level victories. Look at that. He was ready. He knew he had the time to throw that out. The up smash came out from the Luma on hit. I was up till, actually. Oh, and that was up till? Yeah, he okay. started it before Sheik had reached him. So that was preemptive. It's just Rose's is a lot slower, so you only saw her starting to. Yeah, she did do the that. crouch anime. Right, okay, right. I got you. Depuzzo fighting from behind. Not his favorite way to do it by any means. This guy is someone who wants to take a lead and hold it forever and ever. But that said, still quite prominent or quite um, proficient on offense as well. You don't get this far in a game by only running away or being a monolithic player who's only good at a couple things. Oh, and there's a nice pivot grab. I'm just going to continue to put Void in this disadvantage, trying to hold him into the corner. But all right, Void sneaking right by. Going to go for an up air here. Not enough. And the dash deck lands here on the side of Rosalina. Looking to get a roll in himself. Maybe take a page out of Light's book, but not this time. Going to continue the pressure. Okay, up till here, not going to work out. And, okay, they're, they're trying to see who's going to blink. But, okay, that jab's so good, and that's actually going to be the stock. Maybe a little bit of a shield poke there, just due to the fact that the Luma was on one side, the Rosalina was on the other, and it just sent at that, that down smash angle, that weird, hard-to-recover-from angle. What did I say, man? It's not how you start. <laughs> Poor Void. That doesn't even like make the top ten list of the most tragic ways Void has lost I a game. I know, I Which know. Which is not to say that Void is, you know, a lacking player. He's very, oh, he's, very he's good. He's ridiculous. I mean, he is top ten consistently for quite a while now. Yeah, this guy is... He just plays a lot of games on stream, and therefore he's died in a lot of tragic ways against very excellent players. Some of them he does end up beating in the, the remaining set, but... And let's be real, man. It's not a Void problem. It's a Sheik problem. Mr. Mm -hmm. R suffers the same fate so often as well. We saw it happen a couple games against SDX. Or one game, really. But, um... Oh, I'm sorry. No, it, it was a game five set. Either way, Void hopefully going to shape it up a little bit more. His kills on Luma are so precise. Seldom dropping that. 
And he's gotten the luxury of fighting against Solo Rosalina quite a bit of this match, but you need to make those opportunities count. And again, that's where we see the Rock KO power from Sheik really come back to hurt him. The Buzz's boxing game as Solo Rosa has been pretty excellent as well. Like we've seen him find really good time dash attacks versus the uh, the attempted approaches of Void. And now that he's got this Luma back in his pocket, let's see if he can close out the stock. Yeah, when you're Luma-less, you gotta go for the down tilts, the forward tilts, the dash attacks. Not so much jab, which goes from frame three with Luma to eight without her. That down air coming in the clutch for Void, not really an expected option. But can, whoa! Oh, for sure, just like that recovery as Void is all over it. The Buzz and Rosalina players in general have started to favor that high recovery where they skip the edge a little bit more. Once you're toward the end of the star shot jump, you can have Luma come cover you, but still not nearly enough time uh, soaring through the air for that to happen for DeBuzz and Void gonna scout it out. Void taking control of the stage, gonna get that second hit to the forward air. That is enough to take out the star. And he's gonna actually take his time, not even push the issue against this Rosalina. Charge up some needles, but then he does win, or I'm sorry, he loses the interaction. The grab comes through, and that's gonna buy time for DeBuzz. Now Void taking to the other side of the stage, not really too scared of being cornered it seems and also not giving those fearful rolls out of the corner either he's gonna fight his way out with Nair hold his ground with needles but the buzz now that he's got the advantage in terms of position that is it's gotten a lot easier Void is cornered a little bit but that dash grab actually gonna cost the buzz a luma here and that could be big damage right back on this uh this ledge trap opportunity for void oh okay we got text was going for the... I don't know actually if he did dash attack uh, before that dash grab, but either way, when your opponent is cornered, the dash attack cancel grab for Rosalina and Luma is so, so good. This is probably like the, the sixth Luma killed this game? Void. It's a lot. Yeah, Void is a menace to the stars right now. And oh, the air, he, the air dodge just barely enough to sneak by. It's sometimes very tricky to punish that air dodge from Rosalina. And the oft-forgotten Vanish setup, which I feel like has become so much less of a factor in later Smash 4 now that she lost the 50-50s with her down throw. <laughs> Jeez, the just whip. Do it. Uh, I'm sorry, not even the whiff. He just blocked it. And in her end lag, she's still upside down a little bit, which raises her hurt box. That might have pushed Void in a spot where not only did he shield the jab, but the last jab whiff. That gave me even more time to run in up smash. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That was jab and not up smash that uh, he had punished. But either way, yeah, some of her ending animations and... Actually, possibly just the standing Rosalina herself is tall enough for Tipper Up Smash to connect. But Void all over stuff like that. We saw him close out the first stock in a similar fashion against the Up B. <laughs> and they're just crossing each other up. Bouncing Fish from Void and a dash attack from DeBuzz's Rosa here. Either way, no damage exchange. Void just tacking it on with the needles from afar. I love that he crossed him up and went for the raw fair, knowing that even at zero, that's going to put Luma into tumble. Takes her out already, and now this solo Rosalina probably going to take a little bit of a beating as Void gets to have his way with her for 12 and a half seconds. Void's playing pretty surgically. I think that's the best way to describe how he's considering every single positioning he makes is regarding that little star. Oh, and actually a forward air not sending Luma into tumble there. Not sure if that was because it was stale or actually she does need damage tacked onto her before it knocks her away. Maybe that's why Void is always starting off by throwing some needles just butter Luma up a little bit and make each of the consecutive hits to follow um, center further. Oh, but the returning Luma hit going to put Void in a really bad spot. That oh, was excuse weird. Me. Yeah, that looked like an edge cancel. It could have just been the softest hitbox of the downer tagged him, but I don't think I saw him take damage. Again, that's why they record these games. <laughs> it's tough to catch it all, especially when some zany stuff like that happens. Up throw from DeBuzz, but the aggressive option disadvantage. I love seeing that at this top level very consistently. It's just proven to be an incredibly strong option. It's always just throwing out a hitbox, even when you're in the middle of a combo, because sometimes it takes players on the back foot. Void just looking for the kill by all means necessary here. DeBuzz fights his way back with down air. Giant pillar of a hitbox that comes out, even though it's not quite powerful without Luma. Still a good way for her to protect herself on the way down. Oh no! <laughs> Somehow back hit, down smash, sub 100%. No Luma either. Yeah. The Luma died in that engagement. But Void also going to die, but also going to return the favor right back. Sheik on the board in this game. And again, that ending lag, question mark, or maybe just Rosalina being so tall, allowing Void to get the rare 
raw punish with down or up smash. And she does lack kill power, yes, unless you're hitting Bouncing Fish deep off the stage, but that up smash is one of the strongest in the game as well. Now I've got this intense standoff as the buzz holds the center. Boy, just chucking the needles from the right edge of the stage. He's not afraid. So important to not give DeBuzz the rolls that he's looking for. And then as soon as he stops looking for it, Void gives it to him. Almost a little bit of sass in that exchange. <laughs> like, haha, you didn't expect it this time, even though you expected it the last eight times. But now DeBuzz playing a slow and steady game. This is the anti-light, maybe? Yes. <laughs> yes, perhaps. We see we see DeBuzz taking just a sweet, sweet time. This is a 25% a lead. That's enough to camp. But then all it takes is one engagement for Void to get the better end on, and that's a, a closed gap. One of the most important steps in the process, though, is removing Luma, who just looks furious sometimes. I saw her eyebrows real cross there. And yeah, she's definitely going to be angry after her 45th death in this match. This is now Void's opportunity, though, to really put on the pressure. No Luma to be seen. Okay, almost getting the both hits of that. Yeah, super unfortunate because the buzz had started by crossing him up. Second hit didn't connect. Either way, a tipper up smash, not the kill, but some juicy damage. Just applying a little bit of pressure with the bouncing fish. That's that's actually oh that's dangerously close to being the game. I was gonna say Void is without his fish and without his jump, but Vanish also goes so far. And magnet hands are a heck of a drug here. Gonna Absolutely. work out great if you're a fan of Sheik. Sheik almost like the Magneto of this game. You see the jumping H air dashes. That's just her forward air chains across the stage. But yeah, the buzz so content to just hold the center. Void never seems scared in the corner, but the percents, man, the percents. A Luma down air could be the end of this uh, game, this stock. What does he have? Yeah, she's gone. Back throw, DeBuzz going to DI it properly. You always want to go with the knockback of a throw. And either way, still going to pick the Bouncing Fish up and close this out. Now a 2-1 lead for Void. He's on winner's top eight point. This is exciting. Void is in a great shape right now. If you guys haven't checked out the bracket, in order to get to this point, Void had to beat Mistake. And he beat Mistake 3-0. Well, a heck okay of a set. then. Mistake, one of the front runners for top five and possibly even better at the tail end of Smash 4 here, DeBuzz also within that group. And we saw DeBuzz actually suffer a defeat to Komori Kiri, a double elimination to Komori Kiri at Get On My Level two weeks ago. That definitely set him back a little bit in the race and put Como back in contention. Now, if Void can do the same, not that he is not an amazing player or anything, but similar to Como, a little bit of a quieter season here in PGR V5. So he's, he he's had a couple of like, like, like DQs. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Gommel. an oversleep thing, I think, at Gommel. Uh He dropped dropped at Gommel. Mr. R overslept. So the Sheiks, they're trying their best out here. They need to go very deep in these brackets. So far, so good here for Void. He is actually a game away from taking out a top five player in the world and getting into top eight. Winner side. Lilat, of course, choice for the stage on the counterpick point for DeBuzz. You can see how that messes with the needle angles a little bit when yes. someone's downhill. But let us not forget that it's about how you finish, so don't let this lead fool you here. Void going to take full advantage of the Lilat terrain, making sure to auto-cancel that Bouncing Fish. Oh, goes for another one, to, but to Buzz swinging back. Even with Solo Rosalina, you can't have too much fear in your heart. You have to press buttons once in a while, or else those 50-50s are just 100 zeros. Exactly, but... Oh, <laughs> turn around! Void! Let's go, Void! Nah, uh, not for real. I just, you know, that's his chant. Um, that was Before sick. anyone calls me biased. <laughs> it's okay to show some love. Hey man, Boy, I got my love for DeBuzz too. That is my tri-state brother right there. And DeBuzz needs to find an answer. 80% racked up onto Sheik. This could be a, there could be some kill setups that he can go for, but without the Luma, it's going to be even harder. Goes for the Trump. DeBuzz ready for it. They both pick jump off the edge. And even though he didn't get a hit off of that, it still contributes to the long-term conditioning throughout the set. How is Void going to deal with the buzz on the edge in the future? They're both wondering now. Oh, the neutral air still able to connect. And now it's the buzz with control here. Yep, short hop retreating down air from the edge. Just making sure if Void wants to come on with the ledge hop aerial, he would meet a Luma foot to the face. Bold rolls in, and there's the challenge from the buzz. He's saying, get off me. you got to go out to the other side of the ledge. Mm, Lilac coming into play one more time for Void there and 
That actually happened a couple minutes ago on the other side of the stage where as it was tilting low, what? Sure. Well, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, as it was tilting low, Void is able to crouch and crawl underneath Luma's hits. That could really be a significant factor if the Buzz is hoping to corner pressure him in the same way. How about going to get that center stage kind of for free? We see Sheik just giving it up. Maybe going to just bide your time, find a way to poke into the Luma safely. Yeah, DeBuzz has to make Luma last here. That is his one hope at turning this one around. If he wants to stay alive in the set and in the winner's bracket. Oh, this oh. could be the spark. Oh, a little bit too fast. He's going to get the jab three. He can actually take Sheik all the way out if he does it perfectly. Maybe Boyd's SDI was looking on point. And he's like, you know what? I'm taking the jab three for the damage and the position. Either way, this lead has been all the way made up by DeBuzz. Slightly in his favor now. Ooh, and Lilac coming back to haunt Void as his forward air didn't connect because Luma was a bit too low. But on point is Void finding the diamond cutter up smash. And look at this pop off. This man is going to top eight Sunday. He was so far from the stage by the time the camera even reached him. Moving faster than Sheik out here.